44. Um, I don't remember the, the word you used uh, to start this with. I think you said broadens. And that's been the problem. Broaden day. That's been the problem with Asnari. I invented Asnari along with Senator Coles and others. And again, I think you probably heard me at the, at the testimony saying, it, it isn't anything magic. That doesn't mean that it's not important, but it wasn't anything. We, we created it. As I, you know, it's kind of like saying, you know, what we've done is we've taken a, a Chevy Cavalier and we put the Cobalt brand name on it. We changed the taillights and the logo on it. It's still a Chevy Cavalier, even though you're calling it a Cobalt. As Nari, it's not as Nari, just by a different name. And we spent, uh, you know, I spoke more with these groups that you're talking about than anybody else uh, as the author. And we went through all kinds of things. We went through the current Esnari list. So well, this is way too vague because it goes even into things such as aesthetics. So the, 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 the DNR had come to us and said, we need more specificity. And we had at one, point, at one time looked at the, uh, the Wisconsin National Heritage Inventory as maybe a list. But then we started going through that and it had so many different things. And well, geez, that really isn't as pertinent. And we had those discussions with with the different conservation groups and, and, and the, uh, uh, the stakeholders in this. And so after quite some time, I said, well, this is really getting to be, we can't get agreement on this one. So we, we took that one off the table. DNR came back to us uh, with this list, kind of gleaning off of, of these different types of things that we had either in place on the or with, with the, heritage, uh, uh, the heritage inventory and they came up with a more finite, specific list to create more certainty and to get rid of the vagueness. That's been the problem. Uh, that's been an admitted problem um, with a lot of folks, the Federation and others. It's a, you know, we want to know that when you see it, you know what it is, and not kind of leave it up to everyone's interpretation. And that's how we winnowed this down into saying, this is the list, and then when we heard at the, at the, at the hearing, um, uh, there was a, one of the, the things that came up was about sphagnum bogs in southeastern Wisconsin and how this is a rarity and that this should be, you know, we find one of these, this is something that we really ought to draw attention to. And this was, you know, caught my attention um, as well as, uh, you know, members that have worked on this, on this uh, uh, working group over the months. And so we said, you know what, we've also heard that the ephemeral ponds and wooded ponds are more very much more common. And in the areas where they really are common, it really aren't areas that, that lend themselves to uh, you know, low-grade wetlands and, and, and potential fills. Um, but the sphagnum bogs, I said, well, you know, that's a, that's a, a decent trade-off. And so we have a more finite list. That's not to say that over time, we come back, we look at it, and maybe we delete something off it, maybe we add things to it. Uh, but I think this is in a much better place now than the list and the way that we have of interpreting those same areas today, uh, which again, when we did the initial legislation, it was more of a scoping bill. Uh, we've learned after 12 years of review, looking at it, that we needed more specificity, and this is what we came up with from our working group. Mr. Chair, I'm yes. concerned that over time there could be serious damage to our wetlands I would prefer uh, to stand with uh, Ducks Unlimited on this one versus DNR people who could be subjected to political pressure. Well, and I'm just as concerned. I wouldn't have written this legislation if I wasn't concerned about wetlands either, Senator. I know you are a, a conscientious person about wetlands and outdoors as well. Uh, this is very similar also to what the federal government uses in their review list. And we discussed, remember everything we did in this bill, we discussed with the Army Corps of Engineers. Uh, they are more of a partner in the process than we've ever had before. We've tried to, wherever possible, make our process and, and verbiage similar to that with the, with the Fed, with the ACE. And again, this is one of those things that, that, uh, that comes into play. Uh, and again, this is, for, uh, this is for GPs, general permits, not individual permits. This is only for GPs. Keep that in mind as well. Any further discussion? Senator? Uh, Mr. Chairman, thank you. Um, 
I appreciate that there, there was discussions at first with some of these outdoors groups, um, but simply inviting them in the room before um, and then talking about the process over the last few weeks does not constitute consensus. And that's why I was talking to them, because they were saying, here's where we thought we were moving towards agreement. This is where they, they were, when they came before us, they were saying, well, we still hope we can get some of these amendments. Um, and you at the time, last week, we were here, um, had said that you were going to take up some of these amendments, take up some of these things. And some and of their most important priorities, some of their most important priorities were turned down. Those include the amendments that I brought forward. This includes this amendment. Um, and I appreciate that you worked with the Army Corps of Engineers, but they're not necessarily on board with every piece of this bill. They came out as, as neutral on this when we talked to them. Uh, they said, yes, there's some areas where it can improve. And simply saying that we're going to change some ways that we tackle weapons, and saying that there is some problems with the permitting, and then using that as a mask to shuttle in a lot of other problems, they, they, you've said twice now that, yes, we may end up having to tackle this again in the future. Let's just solve it now. Let's make sure that we're not overcorrecting. Let's make sure we're not going over a house fly with a cannonball. My response, first of all, <coughs> Now, let me be exceedingly clear. No one was locked out. No one. Discussions were had with the Wetlands Association and others, including Senator Jout, which you will see one of another amendments here. So just let me be very clear to everybody in this room. The process has to come to an end at some point. Everybody doesn't get everything they want. They can go home sad, but they've come, everybody's gone away from this process and this bill with a lot and this bill is a whole lot better than it was 12 years ago. And in the legislative process, I've been here, Senator, for 16 years. I was the author of the original bill. I have lived this stuff. I know this stuff inside out. And I'll tell you, this is an improvement upon what we had to make this much more distinct, to make it a better process. And you know, every piece of legislation that I've ever written, that you've ever written, anybody here, there, probably, there will be times people come back and revisit any and all of our pieces of legislation. It's just like when you set a record for touchdowns or yardage in football. Somebody comes and breaks the record at some point in time. And that's great. And that's what this is all about. But I just want to be, I, I, I want you to understand, and I'm not upset with you, but I want you to understand that we have worked really long and hard. You know, and at some point in time you have to say, you know what? It's the, it's, it's, it's the fourth quarter, and I don't want to use just all football analogies, but. I'm still kind of hurting from the Panther game. <laughs> Can't get them off my mind. You know, the two-minute warning has come, and we're down to the last few plays of the game. You know, we still have your opportunities if you want to try to do things on the floor. But for today's purpose of, of passing this bill out of committee, uh, and, and I will support this on the floor as well, I think we've done our level best. That doesn't mean that something, you know, there might be some changes and things that the myself as the author may be open to between here and when we do get to the floor. Um, but I feel comfortable with where we're at today. But I will, you know, and believe me, any and all of these discussions, I keep all these things in mind. I mean, as was evidenced with, with uh, uh, Senate Bill 24, which is now SB 26, I mean, we took out a couple dozen different things that came as recommendations from the public hearings, from the public at large. So, I mean, it's not just the groups that we work with in the working process. We've also incorporated things that we've heard in the testimony as well. Any further discussion? If not, clerk will call the roll. Senator Kenzie? No. Morton? No. Bongard? <coughs> no. Galloway? No. Lurch? Aye. Holfren? Aye. Larson? Aye. Okay, that one.